everlasting God, you are 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 everlasting God.
again to be in the house of the Lord today. It is my very, very pleasure and I'm very humbled to welcome into this service my mother, Prophetess Esther Bukuk. Welcome, Mom, to this service. We are happy to have you around. We admit you so much. Welcome. Welcome, brethren, into this service. Welcome, brethren, into this service. It's happy to see you all here. Welcome into this service. And the Lord of my mother, Prophetess Esther Bukok, save you all. Amen. The Lord has been so good to us. He has been so merciful to us. And the Lord loves me. The Lord loves you again. That's why the Prophetess is here again with us this morning. The Lord loves us. She's here because the Lord loved you. She's here because you're loved by the Lord. She's Amen. here because the Lord has a mission with your life. Amen. Don't take her for granted. Don't take her presence here for granted. The Lord has a mission with your life. Amen. The Bible start of today will be the garment, the garment of glory the garment of glory may the lord clothe all of us with the garment of glory the garment of glory is when you are doing your things and your things are turning right is when you're going to this when you're going to the church the prophet prophesies for you and when you go back home you see the things that the, the prophet has been prophesied for you it's when the all communities that you're living around is looking at you as a role model and, and, and as an example of the people that they're saying we want to live the life that this brother is living we want to live the life that this sister is living that is the garment of glory. May all of us be clothed by the garment of glory today. Amen. To start with, I'm going to read from the book of Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 3 verse 1. And I'll read. And he showed me Joshua, the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. This was Zechariah, and he had a vision. In this vision, God showed him Joshua. Joshua was the chief priest. Going back to the book of Genesis, Joshua was with Moses. Joshua was in that generation of Moses. So when Moses was performing miracle, Joshua saw them all. He saw them, he saw how God had parted the Red Sea and the Israelites were crossing around, across the Red, uh, the Red Sea going to the promised land. He had seen that. He had seen all those great things that Moses did, that God did through the hand of Moses. And again, when going to the book of Joshua, Joshua is the one who led the people of Israel to the promised land. He had the courage to lead them to the promised land. And he was, he was given instruction by God. And God told him so clearly. Going back to the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 6, he's saying, Be strong and of good courage. For unto these people shall they divide for the inheritance the land with which I saw unto their father to give them. This is God speaking to Joshua himself. Is God is telling Joshua, this land which I promised your father I'll give you, I'll sure give it to them. This land, you, you are the one who will lead the people of Israel into this land. And again, going to verse 5, he's telling him, As I was with Moses, I should be with you. As I was with Moses, 
that I should be with you. At this particular time, Joshua was starting his ministry. And God is telling him, I will, as I was with Moses, I should be with you. That means the great deed that I did through the hand of Moses, I'll do it with you. The great deed that I did with Moses, I'll do them to you. I will use you. As much as I used Moses, I will also use you. It is this similar person who had stopped the sun. He is known in the Bible as to stop the sun. But going back to the book of Zechariah, in this vision, Zechariah saw that Joshua, who was the high priest, who was used by God, who God is telling him that as I was, as I was with Moses, I should be with you. The same Joshua, Zechariah is saying he's seeing Joshua and Satan is standing beside Joshua. Going to Zechariah chapter 3 verse 2, he said, And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that has chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. It is not this a band of plucked out of fire. He saying Joshua, he saw Joshua. But then by Joshua there was Satan. He saw Satan with Joshua. That is what is happening into us today. No matter how much you are praying, no matter how a good Christian you are, but then Satan is still standing beside you. Satan is still be standing beside you. I'm going to repeat again because this is, is my verse of emphasis. Zechariah chapter 3 verse 1. And he showed me Joshua the high priest. He showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. He saw Joshua. Joshua was standing and the angel was just beside Joshua. But then there was also Satan ready to attack Joshua. Do you get that? Joshua is the very high priest. But then again, Satan is standing beside him to attack him. That is how our life as Christian is as of today. No matter how much you're praying, no matter how you're coming to church, no matter how you're saying I'm a born again Christian, Satan is standing beside you and ready to attack you. Satan is standing beside you and ready to attack you. Ready to attack your business, ready to attack your career, ready to attack your finances and all that you do. Satan is standing beside you. We should not be, we should not, we should not, we should not just stay here, stay and say I'm a born again and Satan is gone away from my life. No, we shall resist shut Satan because Joshua, no matter he was a high priest, no matter he was highly used by God, but then Satan was standing, was standing just before him. And going, going to verse 3 saying, now Joshua was clothed with fluffy garment and stood before the angel. You see here why Satan was attacking Joshua. Because verse 3 is saying Joshua was clothed in fluffy garments. He was clothed with torn garments. He was clothed with garments that are dirty. He was clothed with things that are not pleasing God. What is your fleshly garment today? What have you worn as Christian as fleshly garment that is making Satan to stand be beside you and ready to attack you? What is that fleshly garment that you have worn? The fleshly garment may be the actions that we do, the actions that are not pleasing God. Perhaps you say, I'm a born Christian. I'm a born Christian. I'm a born again. I'm a born again Christian. But then you're sitting back and by but God the Lord has so put much so anointing into her. Amen. But then this shisha mm -hmm. is trying to pull this treasure out. Mm -hmm. He's trying to de to destroy the treasure of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Shisha is any antichrist. He's standing in the middle of the crowd and telling, I hear that you're going to that church. Do not go. Whosoever go to that church will not bury him. Mm -hmm. Listen, sisters and brothers, mm -hmm. we are not 
we are not we are not living a life depending on death. Oh yes. We are not expected dead bodies. Oh yes. We are expected glory of God. Amen. We are, we are, we are the living glory of God. Amen. Our every day, mm -hmm. my tomorrow is glory of God. Amen. My today is glory of God. Amen. Why do they think that tomorrow will be dead? Mm. Why, why do they think that tomorrow will be dead? Why are they why are they preparing to bury me? Why are not preparing to celebrate the glory of God in me? That means this is Shishak. Everybody who is doing that is Shimshak. And we shall pull we shall sure pull them. Amen. And they should not survive in our life. Amen. They should not survive in our life. Amen. Every Shishak must die in your life. Amen. Every Shishak is that friend of yours, mm -hmm. that neighbor of yours, mm -hmm. that relative of yours. Mm -hmm. When you just come out of the church, mm -hmm. when you just reach home, mm -hmm. they just come and knock. Mm -hmm. Ah, here again you've gone into that church. See your life. There's not any changes. You're wasting your time. Mm. He's telling you so many and so many ways to discourage you. Whosoever is discouraging you to do a God a God's work mm -hmm. is a shim shark. Mm. We shall pull them down. Amen. We shall pull them down. Amen. Their steps shall, shall never go forward. Amen. Their steps should be going backward and not forward. Amen. Wherever they plan to meet you, uh -huh. I cancel their steps. Amen. If they say you they'll meet you at point A, uh -huh. you won't be there Amen. at the time they find you. Every ship shark may they be pulled down. Amen. May every ship shark die in your life. Amen. I'm going to read from the book of Matthew. Uh -huh. Matthew chapter 13. And I'll read as verse 24. I'll read. Another parable put, put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is linked unto a man which saw good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy come and sowed tears among the wheat, and he went his way. But when the blood was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tears also. This parable was given by Jesus. This sower, this farmer, went unto the field, and he just put up good seed. He just put in the soil good seed. So he expected to yield good seeds only. But then at night the evil Satan came up and planted weeds among these good seeds. You are a good seed. You are sown as a good seed. God did not sow with that evil in God did not sow you with any evil inside you. God did not sow you with any disease inside you. God did not sow you with any trouble in you. God sow you with so much favor. You are not a person to go somewhere and people telling you we did not look we are we were not looking for you. God saw you as a patch, as a person of favor. Everywhere you go, you get favor. Everywhere you go, you get acceptance. That is the way God has sown you. But then, the evil, Satan, is the one who came at night and put those bad seeds inside you. I'm going to repeat again as verse 25. But while men were sleeping, but while men were sleeping, his enemy came and saw tears among the wheat, and he went his way. So the person who had sown the tears and the wheat is an enemy. An enemy is the person who has sown tears and wheat in your life. God did not create you with those problems you, you, you have. God created you as a, a good person. And when God created us, he said, have dominion over all things. Have dominion over all things. God did not create you a person that you don't have dominion. He said, have dominion over all things. But then, the evil one, the enemy, is the one who come and sow tears. The disease you see in your life, it was planted by the enemy. The 
disease that are with you, it was planted by the enemy. The sickness in your life, the barrenness, whatever problem you have, it was planted by the enemy. It is not God's plan for you to be the way you are. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord. may every chair the enemy has planted in my life. I pluck it away in my life. Pluck it away in my life. Pluck it away. I pluck it in Jesus' name. I'm going to read from the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 2. I'll read as verse 1. Why do why do we rage and the people imagine imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their brands and cast away their coats from us. This is the kings of the earth. The kings of the earth are making are, are gathering around themselves and are making a council among themselves. These are the king of the earth. Wherever a discussion, wherever a council that they called against you, they are making a council against you. But then the Lord is saying, as in verse 3, let us break the bond and cast away their cords from us. He has that sits in heaven shall love. The Lord shall have them in direction. In, di in direction. These are the people of the earth, the king of the earth. They sit and make a council against you. They sit and make a council against the church. You find that it's just a group of pastors, a group of bishops that they're sitting and discussing around. Why is that church emerging? What should we do to destroy that church? They are making a bad counsel against us. You find that it's a group of elders in your clan. They are sitting and say, that brother, that sister, past have decided to go to that church. What should we as a family make against her? They are making and planning a bad plan for you. But then the Lord is saying, he who sits in heaven is laughing at them. He who sits in heaven, the Lord who sits in heaven is looking down and laughing at them. May the Lord look down at your enemies and laugh at them today. May the Lord look down into your enemies and laugh at them today. Because these enemies, in verse 3, they're saying, will cast their cords away from us. We will cast their cords away from us. They're planning evil. They're planning bad against us. These enemies of us, they're planning bad against us. They've called the council and they plan bad about us. The Lord is saying, he who sits in heaven is looking down and laughing at them. May the Lord laugh at your enemies today. Amen. May the Lord laugh at your enemies today. Amen. Jerusalem, you are Jerusalem. You are the chosen person. You are the chosen generation. The Lord has chosen you. He's saying he has chosen Jerusalem and he will comfort us. The Lord is saying he will comfort us. No matter how much tribulation you're going, no matter how much troubles you're passing through, the Lord is saying he will comfort us. May you be comforted by God today. Amen. May you be comforted by God today. Amen. And God is saying, the cities, my cities will pass through prosperity. May our cities pass through prosperity. Prosperity in your business. Prosperity in your career. Prosperity in wherever you do. God is saying wherever Shimshak that wherever Shimshak is stolen, now it is time for restoration. He's restoring us. And he's saying our seed will be of prosperity. No matter no matter how much harm Satan has done in your life. God is promising prosperity in wherever you do. Receive prosperity in the name of Jesus. Receive prosperity in the name of Jesus. And he's saying, we shall spread. We shall spread. That is, 
we shall grow in whatever area that we are doing. We shall grow. Be it in our business, we shall grow. In our careers, we shall grow. Our children will grow. In whatever that they are doing, they will grow. I, 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 I prophesy growth for everybody. And he's saying, the Lord shall comfort Zion. May the Lord be your comforter today. May the Lord comfort you. And whatever situation you are passing through, may the Lord comfort you. Receive the comfortation of the Lord. And he's saying he has chosen us. We are the chosen generation. The Lord has chosen you. No matter what everybody is saying around you, the Lord has chosen you. No matter they do not accept you to a workplace, but then you are the chosen one. No matter what they tell you, they look at you down. They look at you as a small thing, but then the Lord has chosen you. I urge everybody to stand up so that we pray. Say, oh Lord, Oh Lord, remove, remove the flippy garment, the flippy garment away from my life. Away from my life. Remove that flippy garment that you are on. Remove, remove, remove every flippy garment, every garment, every garment that makes you not to get favor or favor in God. From now. Remove in Jesus name. every flippy garment. I remove you. Every garment in my life, in a garment in my vision, in Jesus name. I remove it in Jesus name. I remove it by fire. Every garment in my life, uh, surrounding my life, uh, surround my family, wherever you are, I command you, you get out in, name, out in Jesus' name, out in Jesus' name, out in Jesus' name. I command you, get out in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, clothe me, clothe me with the garment of glory. With the garment of glory. Put in the garment of glory. Ask God to dress with the garment of glory. Oh, Lord, the garment of glory in everything. Oh God, give us the garment of glory, oh Lord. Dress us with the garment of glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. We thank you, God, of Prophetess Esther Bukoko. Thank you for this chance again. Thank you for this grateful Sunday which you've given us. We thank you, Lord, for our mouth. We thank the spirit which is upon this altar. We connect ourselves with this altar as a son and daughter of prophetess. So that the Lord connect us with our mom in this program of prophets and deliverance. In Jesus' name, we connect ourselves in this altar. Amen. Amen. Let your living water flow over my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take over.
prophesy. I prophesy because the spirit of mom is inside me. Oh, yes. So I shall use Swahili language, mix in it, English, whatever. But only Lord, glory to God. Welcome. Brother, nataka niombe abari ya ugonjo. Moja. Sao? Mbili. Nataka nkusaidia jambo moja. Moja ni ameshe nyote. Afu atasema. Mbili. Ninaona kuna huyu rafiki yako wali kushauri. Sawa? Oye, ongea. Ninaona huyu alikuja kwako kwa kushauri habari za kwa waganga. Are you sure? Unakumbuka tarehe ya mwisho kwa mganga? Au kumbuka? Unajijua kwa mgonjo? Au jui? Yes ma'am. Emmanuel ni nani? Emmanuel. Yeah. Na unjui. Mbona tukupe dozi? Simama hapo fikiri, niendelee nao. Alafu nitakumalizia. Can I prophesy? Prophesy son of mama one. Jamani ndani ya ku prophecy kuna mambo mengi. Kuna wageni, kuna wanaogopa kusema kweli, kuna nini? Lakini baadaye itakaa tu. Kwa kuwa mama yetu yuko. Can I prophesy? Ndio mama yangu na BS iko ndani yangu. Ninaweza nikatabiri. Nataka ni kuondoe katika roho ya kupataliwa. Umekuwa ni mtu ambaye ukipata kazi, hauwezi kukaa kwenye kazi kwa muda wowote, yani unakaa kwa kipindi kifupi sana, unafukuzwa kazini. Ni mtu ambaye huwezi kudumu kwenye kazi. Na mpaka hata sasa hivi hapo ulipo, hauna kazi maalum. Can I prophesy is it true or false? Ni kweli au uongo? Ni kweli. Ni kweli. Inakuja kwenye usiku wako. Can I prophesy? Inakuja kwenye usiku wako. Aha. Umekuwa ni mtu ambaye unaota, you know, somebody akiwa mtu anapaa. Unajua mtu anaipaa? Ana flow kama anapaa hivi. Hapo baadaye na kuposa. Yes. Can I prophesy? Yes. And um, kuna mama mmoja alikushauri, mama mama sio dada, sio baba, mama alikushauri kuachana na hii huduma ya PMC. Kweli Watu wote hawa ni maadui wako. Hayo ndio majoka yako. Na hata hapa ulipo ulikuwa unapatwa na ndoto ya kuwa unazunguka. Sikia niangalie ukiona una nyoka, you see unamjua nyoka alipo. Yeah. Ukiona nyoka na kuzunguka kama amekubana kiunoni mm -hmm. wakati umela. Mm -hmm. Sometimes unasikia kama maumivu ya tumbo ukiona kamato namna hii. Yeah. Hicho ndio unachokiona kama mwana nabii. Yeah. Inatabiri kabiri jana, jana nyoka zilichomo na hizi zilizobakia kwa kuataka moja kuwepo. Zinda kuondoka siku ya leo. Na hizi twazi bila kuondoka ikiwa kama mwana nabii. I command you mpaka siku zako za usichana na ziona. Listen namalizia hii Naona siku zako hata zenyewe hazipo. Sikia? We, niangalie. Siku zako. Siku za kibinti, za kike. Tunazielewa? Zinakuwa hazieleweki tunakuwa. Kuna mana hata karenda yako. Can I finish ya? Finish me, son of major one. Who is promise to marry you? Nani alipoidi kwa mbata kuhu? Kwa hapo wengi sana. Ndiyo mwana ujua na bazi la ukatajiwa au wengi wote wanapita na wamewa kwa lisha pita kakuli. So, from today, nikiwa kama wanabi, niki kuondola ili bazi, utapata kibari pota na pukua. Na natapini kama wanabi, ndani ya makawa wa wishi, ndoa yako inakuweko. Ya natapini ya bali ya ndoa wa makawa. Ya mani kuna mchela wa makawa, kama wanamini pokea na kutatina na mwaka. I command you spirit, you snake wherever you are. Die from now, manifest. You with the craft of power, wherever you are, yes, die. Manifest from now. Yes, sir. Manifest from now. Achi o binti kwanza sasa. Ina kwa muda achi o binti. Achi. Yes, move like his neck. Yes, na kundo wa nyoka, nyoka wakuzi. You cobra. I remove you by fire. Die. Die. Yes. Die. Achi o tumbo kwanza sasa kwa muda kwa nyoka sio. Achi o tumbo. Die from now. Die. Yes. 
speak to you in Jesus' name. I prophesy your faith from now in Jesus' name. Can I prophesy? Prophesy, son of God. Oh, yes. And I always need to own a kitu kwa mama. Mama, I'm taking a condole. Moja kwanza, ni naona mtu mgojwa. Ongea kwa nguvu mama samani, mdo na enda. Unaona naona mtu mgojwa. Ni nani hui mgojwa? Ni mtoto wako. Ni mtoto wako. Ui mtoto wako, ni mpereka wapi kabla ujaja hapa. Kabla ujapata magizu wako, ui mpereka wapi. Ui mtoto alishenda kwa waganga. Alishenda kwa waganga. Ata ui mtoto wako. Kupa majinda. Ata ui mtoto wako. 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 Ui mtoto kwa ganga ulipeleka imani kwa ganga ninaona kuna kama anakuelekeza ninaona kuna dawa alipewa ya kuogea you see kama alishakwambia hichi kitu alishakwambia ni dawa ya kuogea ninaona kuna binti mgonjwa nyumbani pia ndio huyo huyo binti au umetoka singida jamani mungu wa mama una pesa anaambia huyu binti ndio nataka nimwombe na alipewa dawa ya kuogea can i go deeper Sikia, ninaona dawa hii ambao alipewa. I'm sorry kwa kuongea hili. Alipewa akaambiwa pia au shesi mzake za ndani. Sijui kama alikwambia jambo hilo akiwa kule. Hilo ndio jambo kimuuliza atakwambia sasa hivi. Uko naye hapa? Ah, yuko singida kabisa. Mungu anaenda kumfunga. Glory! Can I finish ya? Can I professor? Professor son of mama mama ndani kwako ndani kwako wewe chumbani yani nyumba yako unaoishi wewe prophesy the mama is inside me oh yes sikia mama ulishakuja hapa ukaombewa ndio ah ndio nisikilize ukaombewa itikia ndio ndio ukaombewa kama hamna useme hamna so ndio kitu kitu ndio ndio i tell me ukaombewa sawa after kuombewa sasa Ha? Sema hivyo. Baada ya kuombewa, ukapata uwenyo wa afya yako. Ndio. Au wewe unaijua, ukapata nafu ya afya yako. Baada ya pale, ukao umeshuhudia. Mmoja, ukao umeshuhudia. Ndio. Lakini baada ya hapo sasa, ukao umetokomea ukawa nikuja kwako ni kwa malaka lake, yani kwa madoa doa kabisa. Ndio. Ni kweli? Ndipo Mungu ana Biesta amekurudishia matatizo. Nataka niombe swala afya yako. Kutoka nilikuwa napita ni kuelekeza. Lakini Mungu mama wangu na Biesta ananiambia madhabahu hii ndio ya kuabudu. Yes. Salama yako yote ni madhabahu. Na wengine wote kama mwana na bibi nawaambia kama utaondoka kwenye madhabahu utapona. Ukaona ujeuri lakini uzima ulipata unaondoka. Utashangaa na kukuta mengi huko unakuja umeridia kama huyo mama hapa. Na wengine wote ambao walishaombewa kwa hiyo hakikisha unaabudu hapa si sehemu tu ya kuomba ni kuabudu kabisa sababu Mungu wetu you hai na anasema clear yes. ninaona kuna mama alikushauri ndio sawa mama si mtu mzima sana ila yuko ejeje eji kidogo mlingani sio mzee sana wala nini akakushauri kuhusu habari ya kutumia dawa za kienyeji ndio ah ni kweli kabisa yes kwa hiyo mama ndio kwa sababu mtu anaitwa Diana Diana Ana Diana Ana Diana Ana Diana Okay twende tutamjua uko mbele ya So ngoja nimalizie jambo hili Baada ya kushauri kutumia zile dawa za kienyeji umetumia dawa za kienyeji lakini hali yako umeona ikiwa ni mbaya sana Ukaona ni vizuri urudi madhabahu ni kuja kupata tena msaada Lakini pia hapa madhabahu ni bila kukuambia maneno haya ungepata msaada na ungeondoka ukalala mbele tena na lakini umekuwa ukiota ndoto mama akikutokea. Ndio. Wewe ongea vizuri. Ni kweli kabisa. Usijibu tu kila kitu ndio. Umeota ndoto mama akiwa anakutokea na nyingi za kimama akiwa anakutokea. Mama anamaanisha mama nabii. Ndio. Akikutokea akikuonya sana. Yaani kama mtu aliyekukaribia akikufanya deliver lakini akikuonya. Uso bali ya kanisa. Wewe. Si kweli. Au kumbuki. Ah, nilipokea kumbinga. Alikwambiaje? Ali tokea tukambele lakini ajenipea chochote. Ali kuambia chochote. Mm. Ali nyamaza. Ndio. Ah, chochote. Mm. Mungu wa mama yangu na Biesta anapomtumia mama kukutokea wewe au malaika kutokea wewe, asipotoa chochote ina maana kwamba anakukaribia 
yani amekuja kwako hajasema kitu so ungetakiwa kuja matabauni kumtafuta na ndio kama ulivyokuja leo ndio hiyo kwambia ndio maana mama kutokea ndio hivyo alikuwa anakuonya nataka ndili na tumbo lako la uzazi una shida kwenye tumbo la uzazi lakini pia nitaji kujili na kesi ya miguu miguu yako ndio sawa ndio nijikombee hapa kama mwana nabii na ukipata maagizo haya yaliyokupa hapa madhabahu haki yako itakuwa bora sana na utakuwa mtu mzuri lakini na kwa sasa sasa niko na kitu my brother kenana in this world from now out manifest from now die from now that's what we do now yani za miti shamba za miti shamba tulizo nazo zote usilete madhabahu au natamua ulitumia zote ziliisha tena na sisi Kuna za hospitali tu. Hizo miti shamba zilisha. Ndio, zilisha kitambo. Zilisha. Naona mtu zimeza ndio zimekuletea shida. Yaani una tumbo lako lina shida. Na hata hapa sasa hivi kuanzia sasa kama mwana nabii na hilo tatizo nilikwambia halitakurudia tena ni tatizo ambalo nikisema kwa watu ni laibu kitu itakufadhaisha sasa tutakuwa na wako juu Mungu wa mama na pesa ndio kujifunga macho yako I command you sickness wherever you are kila roho ya ugonjwa iliyokuja kuanzia sasa out 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 from now yes achie mwanamke huyo kuanzia sasa kila ugonjwa unaomtibisha twaita kwa jina kiso nyanyua tena nyanyua 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 baba Naondoa kila uvimbe katika moyo huu. Naondoa uvimbe katika moyo huu kuanzia sasa. Na nyonga kila mapepo aliyokurushia ugonjwa huu kuanzia sasa. Natabiri kama mwanabii. Fire kwa jina la Kristo. Fire by fire. Die. 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 Yes. I command you be free. Yes. Achie mwanamke huyu. Achie mwanamke huyu. Achie mwanamke huyu. Kwa mamlaka ya China. Let's go.
kumzuia sitabii kwa sababu hawako tayari kutabiriwa mtawasaidia yeah. <coughs> kanisa hii ni ya unabii yeah. yes. si kanisa tu yes. lakini ni kanisa kwa sababu tunaamini kwa mkono wa nabii alihifadhiwa kwa mkono wa nabii israeli alikombolewa waweza kukombolewa kwenye matatizo kwa ajili ya unabii waweza kutoka kwenye situation unazopitia kwa ajili ya unabii waweza kutoka kwenye shimo la atui kwa ajili ya unabii nikikwambia uwe mzima huwa ni unabii lazima uwe mzima nikikwambia mambo yako ya vizuri lazima uwe vizuri huwa ni unabii nikikwambia usiogope si usiogope ya jirani yako na mchumba ya kudanganya chako nikikwambia utamata kama akwela unisikize nikwambie neno linasema meli akiwa ametokea na Gabriel kwamba atakuwa na mimba atamzaa Yesu Yusufu akiwa anaanza kumkimbia kwa sababu amepewa mimba na mtu mwingine ndivyo alivyosani yeye malaika yule ndiye aliyemtokea Mary akamtokea kwamba unaenda wapi unakimbia wapi Mary utamuua utake usitake oh yeah. Mungu ninayefanya naye kazi oh yeah. Mungu ninayefanya naye kazi yeah. anayefanya anao kukimbia Yeah. 